It's so much fun being able to take a trip like this and just have the time off and be riding by myself, just riding solo so that I can stop as often as I want or go as hard as I want to. I think there's a lot of people out there that don't really get the time to be alone, experience solitude for weeks on end. And that's kind of unusual in the grand scheme of things for a lot of folks. Not too many people get to take a month off and be by themselves, commune with nature and the road like this. So I woke up this morning in Chalice, Idaho at the hot springs, and it was a great place to spend the night. I soaked in the hot springs before I went to bed, and then in the morning, it was really cold out. It was frosty, and I built a little fire, cooked some breakfast, and then did another soak before I hit the road. And from Chalice, I headed north following the Salmon River, and it's a really spectacular section of pavement. It's highly rated on the Butler maps, and I can see why. It was really fantastic riding um, along the river for hours. The highway was really well engineered, big sweeping corners, just super fun. I rolled through the town of Salmon, and then I headed north through Missoula. I found a forest road and headed up that. It was rocky and dirt, and it went through the mountains. Lots of trees all around me, some big views, but it started getting late in the day and I decided I needed to find a place to camp, but I didn't really find anything that caught my interest. It was kind of really socked in by the trees. I didn't really find the ideal campsite that I was looking for. Plus, to be honest, you know, traveling up here in Montana, I know there's a lot of wildlife, a lot of bears, things like that to look out for. And I don't have any personal protection with me or bear spray or anything like that. So I decided to head back down a little closer to the main highway. And it turns out I found this campground right here where I'm going to spend the night tonight. So we're here at the campground. I'm going to cook a little meal and just have another good night on the road. I'm really digging this little firebox stove. This thing is cool. I stopped to get some gas and I went to a gas station that said it had a grocery store, but it turns out it wasn't really much of a grocery store. So anyways, that and some cold beer and some chips that I'm still carrying with me will be uh, tonight's dinner. I find it rather interesting that I decided to come down here and camp because I was a little nervous of camping out in the back country because of the bears. And there's a sign right here saying that there's been bear activity here recently and precautions should be taken. I am loving this trip so far. It's been nine days since I left Arizona 
and now I'm up in Montana and I should be able to get to my destination, the Canadian border, tomorrow or the next day. I'm not moving particularly fast. I would guess that maybe a couple hundred miles a day is my average, but I'm stopping whenever I feel like it. I'm filming things along the way. And it's been a really, it's been a really good trip. I'm really looking forward to exploring this part of Montana. Um, I've been here once a long time ago. I did ride across Montana and I did the um, going to the Sun Highway, which I think I'll be able to do that in a few days. And other than that, it's just it's it's just wake up and explore, you know, ride whatever I feel like riding. And because I'm traveling solo, I'm not taking the most challenging hard roads just for safety's factor. Um, you know, I want to get on the the backcountry roads. I want to get off on the scenic byways, and I definitely want to do some dirt riding, and I have done so far. So this isn't really like a BDR style trip in the sense of like really pushing my limits and doing that because I'm riding alone. I want to stay safe and I want to have a really good time. So it looks like the firebox is doing its thing and it's going to be time to put on some soup here in the very near future. Look at that little firebox go. It's so magical. It's just like this nice little self-contained bed of embers down in there. You could cook a steak on here perfectly right now. But all I've got tonight is some soup. But that's going to be just fine. All right. Dinner is ready. Nice and hot. Got my soup. Got some chips some cold beer. There's lots more to come. If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to this channel and hope to see you next time around.